Hockey.com. The Brazilian, four years older, 26 to Agapova's 22. Agapova, four inches taller, both on point at weigh-ins. And we see a two and one half inch reach advantage for Maria Agapova. For our official introductions of this, our co-main event, here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our co-feature of the evening. Three rounds in the Invicta FC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting to my right out of the blue corner. She's a mixed martial artist, standing five feet four inches tall, weighing in officially at already 125 and one half pounds. Her record, an impressive one. 10 wins against three losses. Joining us from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Marila Chocolate Santos. And across the octagon, her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She's also a mixed martial artist, standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in officially at 125.9 pounds. Her record stands at six wins against one sole defeat. Originally from Kazakhstan, now fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Maria Aga. And your referee in charge, Marcio La Selva. Flyweights ready to go in our co-main event of the evening. It is Bahia, Brazil's Marilia Santos and Kazakhstan's Maria Agapova. TJ DeSantis, Julie Ketty, Memorial Hall here in Kansas City for Invicta FC 37. Oof. Big right hand misses by the Brazilian. Southpaw Agapova with a kick. That's showing a nice awareness of distance. In here, TJ. Nice kick by Agapova, found the lead leg of Santos. Big power thrown here early. His right hand by the Brazilian, answered by a combination. Magapova kick to the body. Goodness. Flurry of punches. They weren't, they weren't kidding when they said they expected a stand-up war. <laughs> yeah, Santos really has a strong overhand, and uh, Agapova's looking for that kick. She's nicely placed for a kick to the liver in those combos. Mentioned Agapova hailing from Kazakhstan now, residing and training at American Top Team in Coconut Creek. Man, they're fast. Not afraid to take a couple to get a couple. Looks like Santos is getting a little bit more cautious, looking for her opportunity. A little bit more. She knows that Agapova's got some super fast hooks there. Wow! Big, nice big left big hand left. finds a home. Oof. The Brazilian answers with a right hand now in the clinch. Santos trying to put Agapova into the fence. Agapova trying to fight through it, maybe get her back away from the cage. And that was smart instinct by Santos. She was wrapped up high. She went, uh, lowered her level, got underneath, and pushed Agapova to the cage. Agapova's motion is very hard to track. She's extremely fast, and those limbs are very long. Double underhooks here for Santos. I mentioned she has a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and she decided to just take a seat there and drag Agapova down. Yeah, I don't know if she was trying for a lateral toss or she just decided it was time to play on the ground, but, you know, uh, guard is a wonderful position in jiu-jitsu. It's a hard position when you're getting punched in the face. What's the old adage? You take a black belt, hit him in the face, brown, brown belt, belt. Purple, purple belt, belt, blue belt, white belt. I think I'm sub-white belt for yeah. the damage I got at this point. I was going to say, what, do you, what happens when you start with a white belt? <laughs> Now, if you look at their hand positioning on the ground, uh, Agapova's... Oh, Heavy ground and pound there. And their hand positioning is no longer the same on the ground. That was a big, explosive um, overhand kind of combo there. Look at Santos's hips. This is exactly what she needs to be doing. Trying to get this arm bar here, Agapova. See how she adjusts. Agapova's blocking the arm bar with her right arm braced on the thigh of Santos. Santos is 90 degrees and she's locked around that arm. Her, uh, 
her feet, oh, she's got to get her toes out of the cage, but her feet are kind of crossed like that so she can hold on and get that leverage a little more. If she had the arm completely isolated, she would yank down on the head. Nicely done by Arcapova to swim back in. Now you see Santos trying to get away from that cage, maybe trying to get that armbar again. Yeah, and she's, um, oh, she's got, again, she's locked on that, she's got the arm over the head. Agapova's defending once Ooh. more. Oh, wow. Little elbow. Get the elbow clear. Big punches. Agapova trying to make her pay for the offensive attempts. Santos wraps up, she's got that overhand, uh, or she, yeah, she, excuse me, she's wrapped over the top and then she's using her feet to move around. She's using very good hips from the bottom, but she's getting a lot of damage uh, in between when she's missing the, the armbar. She's getting hit quite a bit there. Under a minute left here in this first round. And you can see she's oh, well, she attempted to push that knee up into the bicep. See Agapova, she postures up when she tries to throw that ground and pound, which can leave her open a little bit. Power coming down, not goodness. Not something you want to get hit with. It's not. And you know, Santos is doing really great jujitsu things on the ground, looking for that sweep, opening up her legs and looking for the arm bars, which she really needs to start incorporating get up attempts or get up uh, at least faints at getting to her feet so she can switch position. Agapova so long inside this guard, she's able to throw elbows uh -huh. in a way that other fighters just aren't able to. Santos hurt. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Short on time. Agapova trying to finish wow, here. Wow, TJ. Whoa. I I don't know if that was the bell or if that was the end of the round. It looks like they're at That's it. It is done. Maria Agapova, victorious. First round TKO stoppage. Nicely done for the ATT product. 2 0 oh inside the Invicta FC octagon. Pretty decisive finishes in both of her fights. My goodness, Maria Agapova on the map at 125 pounds. And you're right, TJ, you know, the length of her body, the way she was able to roll those elbows over, even when the knees were braced, Santos was pushing away with her knees. She rode kind of the angle of that shin and was still able to throw those elbows, and she, she was landing hard. She's so long with her limbs, the ground and pound, walk us through it. So we're watching we're watching Santos pushing her away with that leg and Agapova stays connected. She's throwing, switching from these kind of, these punches to these elbows over the top. Santos' hands are over her head and she's turned in. I can see why the ref thought that she was, she was done. I don't know if her body went limp, I can't really tell, but you can see whenever Agapova has one arm wrapped up, she uses his leverage to pull the other one out and yank. So uh, when Santos is trying to use her hips to create distancing. She's pushing away. Agapova just pulls in, rides that in, throwing these, just like staying on top of her. Um, and that top knee that Santos could have been using as a continual brace, it's not really enacted. It's not really pushing against her torso or her hips. So it might be considered as not intelligent defending, intelligently defending herself. It is a stoppage victory for Maria Agapova to make it official. Here's Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee in charge, Marcio La Selva, waves off the contest. Four minutes, 55 seconds of the first round for your winner by TKO, Maria Agapova. Eight and one as a pro, two and oh inside the Invicta FC Octagon, Maria Agapova. We'll speak with our Terrence Temple. Here with Maria Akapova. You just fought a month ago, back in the cage again. What's this moment like for you? I don't know what I want to say. This girl, very good. I think she come back stronger, but it's sport, it's just fight. Today I win, tomorrow she win. It's just sport. You knew the round was winding down, but you knew you were close to the finish. What was going through your mind in that moment? Mm, I don't know. I, I just will focus on my fight and I think only about my fight. I enjoy moment. I enjoy what I do. I love my job. Just love my job. Thank you, Maria, and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Maria Akapova. Maria Akapova getting it done with some ground and pound that's not going to be forgot about anytime soon. Really impressed, Julie, with the way she throws it. She can almost switch to, you know, from a punch to an elbow in one fluid movement. And we saw that tonight, and it got the stoppage. You know, she.